A majority of the tourists who visit Jamaica land in Montego Bay or Ocho Rios or Negril, and then you know what happens? They never leave the resort. All right, I get that, but if you're looking for a more authentic, genuine Jamaican experience, then you want to head here to Port Antonio, or Porty, as it's affectionately called. You know what you find here? Great beaches, great service, great food, and with the possible exception of you, no crowds. Located between the Blue Mountains and the Caribbean Sea, Port Antonio has remained a hidden gem, partly because the nearest major airport is in Kingston, about 60 miles away. So to get here, you drive for about two hours on winding single lane roads. But if you're willing to splurge a bit, you can cut travel time down to about 20 minutes by hopping aboard a helicopter that gives you even more time to explore the island's third largest shipping port. Life in Porty, as they call it, centers on the downtown market area and busy Harbor Street, with signature clock tower and fruit stands that line the sidewalks. You have plenty of opportunities to interact with locals who are known for their the welcoming nature. The Navy Island, so let's come on. <laughs> You've all heard the phrase, ask the locals. Well, if you get past the package tours and actually ask the locals, you get to be one. If you're interested in art, music, any sort of culture, any sort of cooking, you just ask the Jamaican Tourist Board, they've got an innovative program that actually pairs you with a local artist, artisan, chef, or craftsman to share with you their skills. Want to cook some modern Jamaican food? An eight mile trek east of downtown will get you to the kitchen of Suzanne and Michelle Rousseau, or as they're known in Jamaica, the Rousseau Sisters. Hi. Hey, how are you? Hey, how are you? Welcome. The Rousseau Sisters are ambassadors of Jamaica's Meet the People program. The program matches travelers to Jamaicans with similar interests for sightseeing and better yet, adventures. If you're interested in food, the Rousseau sisters are the women to see. These former Kingston restaurateurs rent one of the villas just a few feet away from Porty's Blue Lagoon, the same watering hole immortalized in several major Hollywood films. And as their guests, they'll give you an education on some pretty cool Jamaican dishes. You're going to do the manchego with the planting. Yeah. It's going to be so yummy because sure it's going to have avocado as well. They start with a full service kitchen that allows them to showcase and then use the produce indigenous to the island. So what do we have here? Well, we have a lot of gorgeous local produce that is fresh, fresh, fresh. Using the national fruit, aki, which can be poisonous if not sufficiently ripe, they prepare a creamy pasta alfredo, a sautéed breadfruit that is a lighter version of the usually fried dish, and a delicious mango tossed salad. Since Jamaicans don't look at summer, winter, or fall as seasons, Islanders measure seasons in fruit, and mango time on the island is widely appreciated. I can't let you leave without actually tasting the Bombay mango with coconut ice cream. Which is a typical dessert. Mm. You won't leave hungry, but you will leave with a whole new perspective on Jamaican cooking. Man. I'm Peter Greenberg, and thanks for watching.